Hey, it's Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews, and welcome to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews. From Connecticut, Overshores Brewing, and this is their triple brew with an alcohol by volume of 9.5% ABV. It says on here 2014. I believe that is when it was first bottled. It is a bottle fermented beer. Uh, but I usually only see it in the stores with the 2014 date on it. I did not buy this in 2014. I bought it more recently than that. Uh, but the, I've had this before and a couple of times I have had it. It's always had the 2014 date on it. So I guess it's a way to sort of compare it uh, as it ages, which I guess is a good thing. So uh, this is uh, out of Connecticut, as I mentioned, and uh, it's a corked caged bottle. So I'm going to take a moment to take that off. Uh, sometimes they're cooperative, sometimes they are not. So we shall see. There goes the cage part. Not much on the cage, just a black cage. Let's see. Will this go? I guess I'm going to have to force at it. So let's see. Seem to got it now. Here we go. Crank, 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 pop. All right. Bit of mist there. Let's pour it into this glass and check it all out. Nice, big sounding bubbly pour. Spill it to about halfway on this tributary glass from Maine. Overshores. Okay, let's check this all out. We'll take a look at the color on this. This is almost like a reddish amber tone. Uh, the head is uh, off-white, kind of a cream color. Uh, more of a fizzy sort of uh, head. Uh, not super soft and silky by the looks of it, but kind of bubbly and pillowy. And it looks like it's going to kind of fade down. It's still kind of busy carbonation, but it's fading down quickly. Aroma. Fruit character is kind of one of the first things I'm getting, but that's a malt character too. Uh, faint caramel malt. Uh, the fruitiness is more like a, a zestiness, kind of a kind of a, almost like an orange zest sort of thing. Uh, slightly toasty Belgian candied sugar character. Not quite as sweet, but you're getting a bit of that. It's not super sweet. Last one I had, which was many months ago, might have been even close to a year ago, I remember it having a very sweet Belgian candied malt character to it. This one doesn't have quite the same sweetness on the nose, but it's got this uh, kind of fine, delicate, almost like yeasty, slight sourness, uh, sort of a Sort of a nice uh, um, uh, toasty cracker type character. And uh, the caramel malts are, are a little more playing forward on this. Mm. Now, I'm not picking up much in the way of spice. The aroma is kind of complex. I think I'm just trying to fetch the right words in my mind as to how I can describe it. Uh, it's not an offensive aroma. It's a pretty good aroma, but the fruitiness is what I'm getting. It's kind of a yeah, it's like a, it's like a, almost like an, a, a meaty sort of fruit. Maybe a juicy, more of a juicy, almost like an orange, maybe tangerine or nectarine, something along those lines. All right, let's get right into the taste. Maybe I'll be able to better define it then. Mm, the body is very pleasant, very easy. Uh, better than medium, almost full. It's got some depth to the body, got some texture to it, and it's smooth and creamy for sure. Hmm. The taste, uh, I mean, it has a, a very nice, now I'm picking it up in the flavor, I get more of that Belgian malt traditional characteristic with a good sweetness in there as well. Um, and the fruity is, again, kind of a faint orange, you know, almost like a passion fruit thing. I, I really, people are going to look at it, those are fruits are nothing alike, but I'm just, I just can't pick out of my senses what fruit I'm getting. Other than I know I'm not getting an apple, I'm not getting a pear, I'm not getting cherry. Those are some, those are some of the characters I often get in these types of beers, but I'm, I am definitely getting something on the fruity side that I just can't pin my finger on. But I, I but that's, I'm, I'm in a roundabout way, I, I, I want to tell you, I'm really enjoying this beer. I just can't quite define this beer, but I like it. It's very tasty. It's it's very close to traditional. 
as far as Belgian triples goes, a Brun, triple Brun. Mm. The finish is, uh, again, it's sweet. The sweet finish, it's not a very bitter finish. Um, the sweetness is uh, a little more advanced than any kind of hot bitterness in the character. Mm. But it's warming in a way. It's very pleasant to drink, 9.5%. So if this is two years old, uh, there's no booze, no alcohol whatsoever. At this point, I'm not even feeling a hint of it in my head, but you know, I get the rest of the bottle to go, and this is one of those 750 milliliter bottles. So you never know. Mm. But fruitiness and maltiness. Sweet, fruity, malty, with a, a hint of toast and cracker, and a low hop profile. That probably describes it to the best of my ability. Uh, kind of broad, maybe not as precise and specific as I'd like it to be, but I think it gives you an idea of what to expect in this beer. So, this is not bad. I enjoy it. I cannot get it in New Hampshire. I picked this one up on a recent trip to Massachusetts. So, um, so uh, that's, uh, you know, it's a beer that would be nice if it came to New Hampshire eventually, but maybe not. Who knows if it will or not. But this is from Overshores of Connecticut, and this is their uh, Triple Brun. Thanks for stopping by. Catch you again next time.